Oh, oh, oh. Hey y'all, what's up? I just woke up from a dream I had underneath my desk. Yes, I sleep under my desk. Um, I had this dream that I watched this movie Old Guard on Netflix, and it was actually good. <laughs> Well, I'm back. Oh, everything's going in and out of Zoom. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> but I watch. Come on. There you go. But I watched The Old Guard on Netflix, directed by Gina Prince Bidewood, starring Charlize Theron, Kiki Lane, she would tell Ejio Four, um, and a bunch of other people. And it's about a group of immortal mercenaries. Well, kind of immortal. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but they're kind of immortal. <laughs> Sort of like vampires in a way, but not they're not vampires. Um, and there's this group of mercenaries who you know are living in modern times, obviously. And they come across a new immortal, basically. But at the same time that's happening is there's this big farmer bro, Mark Skrilly wannabe dude, who wants to exploit them. And so he wants to take them and study them, but in an evil way. <laughs> And that's the movie. That's as far as I'm going to go about talking about the plot or anything about else. But, you know, when I first saw the trailers for this movie, I was like, man, this is going to be one of those bad, butt rock full Vin Diesel type movies where it's sci fi, but it's really bad sci fi and it's full of tropes and full of cliches. And while that's some of it's true, there are tropes and cliches in this movie, I think it rises above the cliches and the tropes because the director here, Gina, uh, I always, I'm always confused how to talk about directors. Do I call, do I say Martin Scorsese? Do I call him Marty? I don't know what, I don't know what to do. But anyways, Gina Prince Bythewood is really good here because she takes those tropes and those cliches and she sort of does the opposite whereas a Vin Diesel type of movie will use butt rock here she uses music that is sort of like more modern uh, it's not 20 years ago it takes place in the modern time so it's got more pop type of music but it also has sort of like an old school action feel feel to it everything feels familiar but everything it's elevated a little bit because of the acting because of the directing choices and, you know, Charlize Theron's always going to be a great actress. She does no wrong. <laughs> but, well, in her early career, she did some wrong. <laughs> There's some really bad movies, Reindeer Games being one of them. She's had, like, she's got the action bug ever since Alan Flux or Mad Max. Is, she's really into these action movies that go beyond the genre. Because, yeah, this is an action movie. It's a sci-fi movie. But it's more than that. I wouldn't say it's like a great story about how living forever can be a, such a can be a curse more than it is a blessing. But you know, we've had stories like that before, with like Interview with the Vampire and other vampire movies, Blade even. But I think the general point here is that this movie is carried by the acting, and the action is actually fo the action is followable. Like it's not shaky cam. It's not quick cuts. It's not taken. It's not born born series. It's its own thing. It's really fun. Yeah, Netflix probably is gaming the algorithm with all these <laughs> things. They figure out what people want to see and who they want to see in it, and they make it happen. But that's that's it. It's fun. It's great. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I enjoyed it because 2020 has kind of been a bummer of a year with movies and also a bummer of a year in general. <laughs> If I had to rate it, I'd rate it on a scale of Nosferatu's. <laughs> I said, I know I said it wasn't about vampires, but it isn't. But vampires are immortal, so it makes sense. On a scale of one to ten Nosferatu's, I would give this movie about a seven Nosferatu's. <laughs> it's fun. I enjoyed watching it. It's it's got a two-hour runtime, but it doesn't feel that long. The acting's great. Everyone does good. It, I got a little emotional at times from the acting. The mo it was like it was like good level acting here for a story that probably didn't deserve the acting that I got, but it's great. But if you got nothing better to do on the weekend and you got Netflix, why not watch The Old Guard? That's it. Who needs
l'esercito di Prodi And I guess now I'm going to live forever. Let's try that one more time. 